I want to show you how the Anritsu Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzers can be used to make the basic measurements on an LMR transmitter of channel power, occupied bandwidth and adjacent channel power. I've set up a signal generator to replicate an LMR transmitter with 10 kHz deviation, so a typical 25 kHz channel spacing. And we're looking at the output spectrum on the analyzer here. Because of the FM deviation, I'm going to put an averaging on to give us a more stable spectrum. The first measurement I want to show is the channel power measurement. So I select channel power from the measurement menu. And now we can see these two lines represent the 25 kilohertz uh, integration bandwidth that I've configured. And we're measuring down here in the bottom of the display, the channel power, which is defined as the area under the curve between these two uh, dash lines representing the, the 25 kilohertz uh, channel that we're measuring in. I can also apply a limit to that. So if I have a, if I've got a direct connection to the transmitter and there's a maximum power that the transmitter can transmit, I can set that and get a pass fail result. The instrument also shows me the power spectral density in dBm per hertz. The next measurement I want to show is the occupied bandwidth measurement. So with the occupied bandwidth measurement, there are two definitions of occupied bandwidth. One is where we define um, the 3 dB uh, slope on the on the channel, and the other is where we define the, the percentage. So if we define it as the percentage, that's the 99% of power is within these two markers. So these two markers are positioned at the 99% of power um, frequency points. And we see the left marker frequency and the right marker frequency here, and that 99% of the power is within 24 kilohertz, so within the 25 kilohertz channel spacing of this radio. And again, I can activate a limit and get a pass fail test for that, for that measurement. And the final measurement I just want to show you today is the adjacent channel power measurement. In this case, we're measuring not just the power in the uh, wanted transmitter signal, but also in the first and second lower adjacent channels and the first and second upper adjacent channels. So we're getting the uh, main channel power here. I've set this up to be a, a 25 kilo, 20 kilohertz um, channel spacing, just so that we can clearly see the separation of the, of the channels that we're measuring. So we measure the absolute power of the main channel, and then we measure the relative power of the two lower adjacent channels and the two upper adjacent channels. And again, we can define and apply limits to that tool to make the measurement. So I hope that shows you how quick and easy it is to use the Anritsu Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzers to make those fundamental measurements on a LMR transmitter of channel power, occupied bandwidth, and adjacent channel power. Thank you.